In today's video, I'll show you how Command UI can speed up your workflow by providing you with a lightning fast command palette. You'll learn how you can save tons of clicks by just using the search from the Command UI. One of the most powerful tools you can provide any user, especially a visual keyboard user, is a quick search. You can see it evident in so many places like your Google search, your YouTube search, even for movie sites, you see them like Netflix, they have a search bar that you can quickly search through all of their movies in their database. Because when there is a lot of entries in a database, it can be quite tedious to go through all of those entries one after the other. That's why we come up with this search. Even if you are a Windows user or a Mac user, we have the Spotlight search to help you search through your entire OS and the internet. And nothing does it better for the WordPress space than Command UI. It allows you to search through your database of your posts, your products, your custom post types. You can do so many different things and we'll be looking at all of those things in today's video. So now let's jump right into it. Here are some of the useful things you can do with Command UI. The first one is the most important one, which is the go to. And that just allows you to go through all of your options within your WP dashboard. Then you can search through all of your post types. So your post products, your CPTs, and you can go directly to the post you want to do. And you can also go ahead and edit that post directly from any page. You can also search through your users your plugins, and you can create a post type. So not only searching the post type, you can actually create a post. So you can quickly create a post, a page, a CPT, or whatever. So now let's go ahead and see how we can do all of these things. First, I'll show you the basic way, and then I'll show you the quicker keyboard shortcuts that you can use to get through some of these things very easily. So let's head over to the page. So. Here we have the WordPress dashboard. I'll be doing most of the things using a keyboard. So I'll be explaining what keys I'm pressing so you can understand how I'm going through it and to see just how efficient this makes for a keyboard user. Once you've installed Command UI, there are two ways to open up the search. The first is by pressing Control or Command K. And the second way is by pressing the Shift key twice. So double Shift and you get into the search, which is the home of the command UI. In there, you can see, we can have those options of go to, post types, users, plugins, create, and then we can easily log out or change some internal settings. Like if you have some accessibility settings, like if you don't want the dark mode, you can just toggle it on to the light mode, toggle it back to the dark mode. You can enable JavaScript debug, and you can do some other things like change the keyboard shortcuts. In there, you can change. If you don't want to use Control K, you want to use something like Alt something, you can change it here. And you can also restore back to the default. So let me go back and back. Okay. The reason why there are two keyboard shortcuts to open up the Command UI general settings is because sometimes one of those keyboard shortcuts is used for some native browser functions. So whenever you are in an input, then the command or control key no longer works for the command UI, but it serves its native function. Let me show you an example. I'll use the standard way to get to one of the posts, which is the hello world post. But then later I'll show you that there's a quicker way to do it. So I'll press control K. Then I'll go to post types. And finally, I'll search for hello world. Click enter. I'll go to edit. Let's press down and edit. So here in the hello world, we can start tabbing through if you're a keyboard user or I'll just use the mouse now. The moment I get into an input and the input is selectable, so that means we can start typing in anything, then the control K will no longer function. It will just serve the native purpose, which is in this case to open the browser search. 
but let me escape this and next let me come back this time i'll press the shift key twice so shift shift you see it now opens up the command ui so every other keyboard shortcut will stop working when we are in an input but the double shift key will always work so regardless of whether you're in an input or you're not the double shift key will work but every other shortcut key will no longer work now let's go through all of the different functions you can do using the command ui so i'll press ctrl k and the first thing you can do is the standard thing which is the go to and that allows you to go through any of the options in the admin page so say you want to go to metabox so I'll simply type metabox and that will open metabox you can now go and open all of the different options that are under metabox so let's say the dashboard and that is the same thing as coming to your left hand panel go under metabox and then dashboard that is the same thing so any of the options that you can see on the left hand side of your panel you can quickly get to it using the command ui which is by pressing command k and let's say i want to go to the advanced theme settings i'll say at and you can see all of the settings and that takes me to the advanced theme settings but this is just to navigate quickly through all of the options here the second thing you can do is what i already showed previously and that is to go through any of your posts or your cpts within your post types and that is going through post types so i'll press command k and i'll go to post types and within these post types you can now start searching for if you want to search specifically for posts you go into post and search for your post if you want to search generally through all of your post types you can just come here and i can search for my page which is called car service if you are a bricks user you see edit in bricks right here from the command ui and i can just quickly go ahead and edit it with bricks i don't need to navigate to my pages then go to all pages and to the specific page then click edit with bricks so i've saved myself so many clicks all done within just one command ui if i want to go back to the dashboard because i'm already in an input i now press the double shift key and i'll press dashboard and it goes through the standard function of go to because that is an option in the admin interface so I go to dashboard and so i want to go home so i'm back to my dashboard now the next thing you want to do is you can search for let me press ctrl k and you can search for users on your page so if i have users you can quickly go ahead and search through all of my users if i want to search specifically for the administrator i come to administrator and then i can search for the exact administrator i want and i click on it it can take me to that person's profile and i go ahead and edit that profile but that's not what i want to do now so i'll just press ctrl k and dash board home okay so that is it for the users then let me show you the next one which is the plugins within the plugins there are a couple of things you can do here you can either search the repository to install a new plugin for example let me say i want to search for better search replace so i'll quickly go to search repository then i'll say better search replace enter and okay the plugin is already installed so it tells me it's already installed i don't need to install it again let me go back if i want to install maybe contact seven form so i'll say contact seven enter then i can quickly install it or install and activate so let me install and activate now and if you watch it's installed already so if you look at the panel here it shows us that it's already installed we can now go to our plugins area just to see all of our plugins so let me go back say i want to go to plugins so i'll say go to then plugins enter install plugins yes and i can see all of the plugins that are installed and you can see our contacts form 7 it's there next 
let's say I want to activate a plugin. So maybe I'm on the front end and I want to test out the plugin quickly. I can just press the control K, then go to plugins and say activate plugin. Then it will show me all the plugins that are not yet activated. I can now come and press the better search replace and it will automatically activate it. Let me exit and I'll just press either F5 or Ctrl R to refresh and you see the better search replace has been installed. And now all of these things are good and easy. You can also do the same thing with deactivating plugins. So I'll press Ctrl K, say plugins. Then I want to deactivate a plugin and you can now go through all of them. So let me say I want to deactivate contact form seven. Deactivated, I want to deactivate the better search replace. It has been deactivated. And that's how simple it is. So from anywhere on your page, you can deactivate all of these plugins and it will automatically deactivate them. You don't have to start going through clicks on your WP dashboard, especially for users like me who gets overwhelmed with when there are so many options. Because when there are so many options on the dashboard, I get overwhelmed. But with this search, everything is now localized in one area. I can just search in that area and do everything from that one search bar. This is all fine and good, but you see, I'm still taking extra steps because I have to click on one thing. I have to press enter and so many different enters. You can actually speed up the process if you want. And that's where the keyboard shortcuts come in. So let's go back to the beginning. You can see all of these keyboard shortcuts. There is G then T, P then T, U then U, C and so on. Those are actually keyboard shortcuts you can press without actually opening the command palette first. Let's show you the example. So for example, say I want to go to the dashboard or the home, I can say GT and then dashboard. As you can see, when I press GT, it takes me directly to the go to and I press dash and that's giving me the dashboard. It has fuzzy logic, so you don't actually have to type the entire word for it to work. You can just type dash, space and then h m and it will pick out those words and you can now press enter and it takes me back to the home page if i want to go to like power shot codes I just press gt power and it takes me to the power shot codes and that's how fast and easy you can get through the different options in your dashboard so the keyboard shortcut is g then t the next one you may want to use is for your plugins. So if you want to go to your plugins repository and quickly search for a plugin in the WordPress repository, then what you write is PR, that is for plugins repository, and immediately skips a lot of steps and takes you to the plugins, then repositories, and you can search for a repository plugin and install it directly from here. Let me press escape. Same thing if you want to activate a plugin. The good thing about all of these keyboard shortcuts is that, for example, let's say you are on a, working on a page and you had installed a plugin that you didn't want to install and it has crashed your website, but you still had the page open somewhere. So from that page, you don't have to now try to navigate back into your plugins area. From that page, you can now deactivate whatever plugin you want. So I believe that will help you out when you're having that critical error where you installed a plugin or updated a plugin wrongly and then it broke your site, you can now quickly use this to search for the plugin, deactivate it, and then test it out right from whatever page you are working on. So if you want to go to the activate plugin, you write PA and it will open activate plugin. If you want to deactivate plugin, you write PD and it goes directly to the deactivate plugin and the next one is to go to your users. You just press UU and you can quickly search for your users. And finally, if you want to create a post or a new page right from here. So let's say I want to create an agent. So you see here we have agents and properties. Say I want to create a new agent. All you have to do is as long as you're not in an input, that's the most important thing. You must not be an input. The moment you're in an input, it basically deactivates everything. And the only key that will work is the double shift key. Any other key, we just simply type in the entry, which is logical. But say you've 
exited out of every input and you're just on the dashboard, then you can just press C. It will open up create. Then you can choose agent and to immediately take you to the add new agent page where you can now add a new agent. You can see it and the search bar, it shows post underscore type equal to agent. So that's I'm adding in a new agent. And that is how quick and easy you can go through so many different parts of your page. You can search through your entire post. Like I said, if you want to go to your different posts, you just need to type PT. So PT, you have now entered your post type search. And within here, you can now search for any page in any of the post types. So I think I have a post called, or let's say from here, you want to just go to your car wash again. So car wash, and you see to tell us that it's a page and then car wash. If I want to go to the hello world, just hello and see post hello world. I just need to press enter and I quickly get to my post. If I want to go to my property, I can just press property. If I don't remember the name, I can just press property, enter that and I can search right from here to all of the properties that I've created. So like I said, it has this fuzzy logic. So you don't need to type in everything. It will try to pick out all of the different variables based on what you're searching. Because for example, even from the default home, let me just go back, press double shift key and I'm in the regular home. I can literally just press PT and it takes me to post types because it searches for P and T, posts and types. Let's say you want to go to ACPT, you can just say ACPT, and I'll go to the ACPT options. Whenever you see go to, it means it's the options within the admin panel. Whenever you see PT, so post type search, that means you're trying to search for a post. And then from here directly, you can go to, let's say a page, and if you, like I said, if you have bricks, if you go to into the page, you can either view, edit with bricks or edit. Let me say I want to view it on the front end. So I just come to view, press enter. And I immediately get to the car wash on the front end. If I press PT again and say I want to go to the hello world. So hello, enter. Because it doesn't have bricks, it's only view or edit. So I'll say view and I'm viewing my hello world. So yeah, that's it. This is how you can quickly get through your pages, your posts, and it searches in a very short period of time. See how fast the search was? It was in like milliseconds, and you can search through a long database of different users or different posts or different pages or different post types, whatever. You search it in milliseconds, and you can quickly navigate through different parts of your page. So this is how easy and useful it is. I know a lot of people have been complaining about the price. So I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section. How do you feel about the price? Because I know that's the limitation a lot of people are having. In a future video, I'll try to test out all of the different command palettes I can find. One is Turbo Admin, then the Command UI, followed by the Elementors Finder and the standard command palette that comes with default WordPress. So let me know in the comments if you want me to go through a video where I compare all four of them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.